Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video on products that I've already used up. I've been collecting these products since December of 2013. And the first product that I want to talk about is this eye glue, or not eye glue, the lash glue. This is a really good one. It actually works and the lashes never pop off whenever I use these. Um, I'm not sure if this is waterproof, but this is what the actual product looks like. There's some product in there, but, um, it's, like, so crusty I can't even get it off, so I haven't been using it. But I saved it because I loved it so much. I actually finished this, like, a long, long time ago. This by itself was $25, but it is so worth it. And where I live, I'm pretty sure you can't get this. When I went to California to visit my cousin, she actually recommended this to me. So how it works is you apply it on your false lashes and it goes on white and you'll know that the glue is tacky enough when it turns to like a bluish color. It's really good. Like, I prefer this lash glue over the duo lash glue that's in drugstores because the one that's in the drugstore is like, my lashes always pop off. Another product I want to talk to you guys about is this Enchanted Orchard Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I love this scent so much. I haven't tried the shower gel or, you know, the body mist or perfume of this scent. I've only tried the lotion and I love it so much. I think you can only get that... I think you can only get that during their semi-annual sale or something like that. I don't know. Where, like, um body lotion or shower gel is like four or five dollars so that's usually when I see them in the stores I think the scent is actually discontinued so that's why you only see them during like those type of sales majority of the stuff is like from Bath and Body Works by the way a hand sanitizer that I actually love um there's still some in there but like it won't go through the pump, so I actually have to take the top off and use it. But I just don't. Um, I usually use hand sanitizer when I'm applying on makeup. Like, I have foundation on my hands. I'll just use this to get rid of it or something like that. Um, yeah, I think I got this when they had, like, a sale. It was, like, $5 for this. Originally, this is probably, like, $10. Another scent that I've been loving is from Victoria's Secret. Um, this is called Secret Charm and as you can see like there is nothing else. Like there's nothing left in there. And this is one of my favorite scents. I've gone through at least four bottles of this already and I just can't, you know, I just can't get enough of this scent. It's so fresh and clean. Whenever I wear it, people usually sit closer to me because it smells so good. Um, if you're new to, you know, perfume or body mist or something, definitely pick this up. I only buy this when they have their sale for like, what's it? If you get seven of these, it's like $35, making each bottle like $5 each. Originally, these are $12 for one. This is the Pure Seduction Glitter Spray. I think I prefer the glitter spray over the actual, like, body mist itself. These last a little bit longer. And a lot of people say that there's, like, an alcohol scent to it if you spray a lot. And I don't, um, well, I agreed with that at first, but now that I think about it, it's, not really that strong anyways and the glitter sprays I use to spray on like my pajamas before I go to sleep I don't actually wear it out because it is too glittery 
Another scent that I've been loving is Be Enchanted. This is the actual glitter spray from Bath and Body Works. Um, I'm, I believe they changed the packaging of these now. These are $16 now. When I got this, it was $14. And of course, everything that I get from Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, I always get it on sale because, you know, it's just so much better. Well, for my wallet, it's better. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my iPad, like, died. So, another thing that I wanted to talk about is this Mod Lash, like, lash adhesive thing. Um, it's clear. I obviously don't use it anymore because it's really crusty. But this is a really good lash glue for, like, touching up only. I would not put this on my lashes, like fa like false lashes, um, and wear it by itself because it doesn't really stick that well. But if you use the duo lash glue like I do, and sometimes like the inner corners, they're like at the very end, they tend to like pop off throughout the day. This is a really good lash glue to keep in your bag because it will keep the lashes, like the ends of it, um, like it'll keep it down until the end of the day. And I think I'll be buying another one of those. I don't know. Oh yeah, and that was from like CVS or something. You can usually find this like near the Ardell lashes in CVS or Walgreens. I believe I haven't been there in like a long time. Another like scent that I really really like is from Beth and Body Works. This is like their sleep collection or line and this is in the scent Lavender Vanilla and it's a body mist. I know they have like pillow mist and I'm not sure if they cost the same but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just really like this scent. I don't really wear it um like, I don't put it on my clothes or anything. I actually use this as, like, a bathroom spray. You know what I mean? So, like, if someone's using my bathroom and, you know, they're, like, doing their business, then I will always have this in the bathroom. But now that it's empty, I have to, like, get something else. And it's really good. Like, whenever I wore it, um, I would always get, like, a compliment from, like, others who visit my house because I don't wear that outside. Another thing I wanted to talk about is a tea tree concealer from the body shop. I believe this is $10 but it lasted me so long as you can see like there's just a tiny bit left and I do really like this. I think they only have two shades. I'm not sure if they have more than that by now. When I got this, I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of high school. Like, I'm in college now. So, yeah. Oh, and I have finished this blush a long, long time ago. It used to be my favorite. It still is, but it's discontinued. And this is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Soft Plum. There's like a little bit left in there, but I don't think there's any color coming off of it since I've kept it like in my makeup collection for so long. So yeah, I really hope that Maybelline bring like brings these back. The other one where it's like really bouncy, I hate those. I think those are like horrible. And I think that's it, guys. I actually thought that there would be more products, but I guess I showed all of them to you guys. So I hope you like this video. I will definitely try and collect more products to show you guys if you like these product empty videos. So yeah, bye.